Hello and good morning once again. Just about to have another brief word with you about the things of God. I've been reading this morning and thinking about the life of Joseph. Now I'm sure many of you will have known about the musical Joseph's Technicolor Dreamcoat and the, the various songs that were written but I want to just think for a moment about a word which Joseph said to his brothers because if you read in the book of Genesis um, the account of Joseph and there are a number of chapters which refer to this <coughs> um, you will find that Joseph had a very checkered pathway he had the dreams his brothers turned against him <clears throat> they put him in a pit and then decided to sell him to some Ishmaelite uh, travelers who eventually took him down to Egypt and there he was bought by a man called Potiphar <clears throat> and he became very much Potiphar's right hand man because God was with him God used Joseph in many wonderful ways and Potiphar has seen the success that came through Joseph's ministry but Joseph was a man of integrity and honesty and when Potiphar's wife made advances toward him he uh, turned them down and fled and she uh, then made this subterfuge that he had attempted to molest her and that she had caught hold of his coat and so on and so forth. He was put into prison and there languished, we are told, in chains of iron. And then the baker uh, and the other companion who had been put in prison, uh, the butler, they heard that Joseph could interpret dreams and so they told their dreams to him and he interpreted one was delivered the other was uh, put to death and finally Joseph <coughs> is brought before Pharaoh because Pharaoh had these dreams that troubled him so much the uh, fat cattle and thin cattle uh, wonderful ears of corn and then those ears of corn that were poor and rank and Joseph interpreted the dream to Pharaoh and because of that he was delivered from prison and the Bible says that he exchanged a chain of iron for a chain of gold and there he was elevated in Egypt to a position of authority uh, there was none greater except Pharaoh in all the land of Egypt we know how the famine came as he had predicted his brothers eventually were forced to go to Egypt to try and obtain some food and uh, eventually they had to go and be confronted by Joseph their brother they were fearful they knew they had done wrong but they eventually had to go and Jacob the father had this one son Benjamin he couldn't allow that young lad to go but in the end they had to go and uh, the story unfolds in that they were given provision the money put in their sack and then his cup was put in Benjamin's sack and Benjamin had to stay back uh, with Pharaoh and uh, so it was a real troublesome time for them and eventually eventually Joseph made himself known to them and this is the point I want to emphasize because it's the point that Joseph made to his brother you meant it for evil against me but God meant it unto good to bring to pass today much people alive. Now we sing and have sung many times. God moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. 
he plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm deep in unfathomable minds of never failing skill he's working out his boy's designs he's working out his sovereign will and so this reminds us that God is sovereign he sees the end from the beginning and he sees you and he sees me as the psalmist said he sees my uprising and down sitting going in and going out thou God seest me and what a wonderful thing it is to know that our times are in the hands of the one who is too wise to be mistaken and too good to be unkind well may the Lord bless those simple thoughts or just have a word of prayer Lord please give us that faith to trust when we can't trace to be still and to know that you are God these things we ask for Jesus sake Amen.